What is ecology, you ask? Well, that's a very good question. Eco comes from the Greek word that means house. So if you think of the earth as a house and all of the animals in the world as the family, ecology is the study of earth's different ecosystems and how those ecosystems interact together. This German, Ernst Haeckel, was credited with creating the name ecology to encourage scientists to consider the different ways that organisms interact together. Just like a ziggurat has many levels, so too does ecology have many levels of organization. Each level of organization is slightly larger than the next. At the smallest level of ecology, you have an organism like this shark. Just to remind ourselves, an organism is any living thing. Just above the organism is a population. A population is a group of animals that are of the same species. So we could ask the question, which animal in this picture is not part of the population? The shark, obviously, is the animal that does not belong in this picture. A community, on the other hand, is also a group of animals, but also includes different species. The next level of organization in ecology is the ecosystem. An ecosystem, such as this lake ecosystem, is all the organisms in a given area. Above the ecosystem, however, is the biome. Biomes are major regional or global communities such as major deserts or grassy savannas. The only thing larger than the biome is the biosphere, which includes all living things on Earth. Here is a graphic showing all the levels of ecology in a visual organizer. You can see that the smallest level starts off with an individual, then moves up to a population of species that are the same. This is followed by a community where different species interact and a larger ecosystem which makes up the entire region. The major level communities are represented by the map on the biome section and the biosphere in turn makes up everything on Earth. There are different ways that scientists study ecology. The first method is observation. Observation is where people look with their eyes at the world and write down what they see in their science journals. There are two types of observation in the world. The first is direct surveys where people look at things with their own eyes. The second kind of survey is indirect surveys where people look for either feces or things that the animals have killed to try and figure out what's going on with this animal. Click on the link below to see some of the tools that scientists use to help them study ecology.